Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tina. Today I have um, another video of my dye obsession. And since uh, Easter is fast approaching, it's right around the corner, I thought I'd share with you guys some of the Easter dyes that I have. I do have a couple more that it's, they're still in transit, but um, let me show you what I got and how they cut. I didn't have time to uh, paper piece everything, but um, anyway, I'll show you what I have and what I've done. Um, and starting, I think, next um, video, I will show you the some of the stamps that I have. I don't have that many, but uh, I didn't have time this time to um, stamp anything, and I didn't want to just show you the the stamp set. Okay, so... And some of you have asked me if the magnets that I have, uh, they're, um, they have adhesive back, and yes, they do. Um, so you just peel it, but I don't. Anyway, I'm going to start off with this egg dye. And it's got a bunny, it's got a couple of eggs that you can paper piece, it's got butterflies and a heart. So it's a nice dye, and... This die, it's about three and a half by two and a half. So it's a good size. And it cuts like this. And let me grab a white cardstock. So this is how it cuts. So as I can, you can see, you can paper piece all the eggs. You can change the color of the bunny. So it's a pretty cute uh, die. The second one that I have, and look at my fingers, they're all dry from gluing. I have this egg and it's got leaves all around and um, some flowers and it says Happy Easter here. And it's got a little bunny. I don't know if you can see it. So, um, Again, I didn't paper piece everything, but um, I did the little bunny here. I don't know if you can see his outline. And it's a nice size die too, if you want to make cards and stuff, because it says Happy Easter. And this die is three and three quarters by three. So, Again, good size die. I have this cute die, and it's a um, kind of like a truck bus. I don't know. Um, the carrot here it does not cut; it just embosses. And then there is a little bunny, and I cut it, and I just colored the carrot. I know I didn't do a good job, but. Um, just paper piece the truck part and the bunny I left white just gave him little eyes so you can do whatever you want with them there is some headlights here and backlights so cute little die and this die is two and a half by two and three quarters I have this die which is um, grass with some flowers and there is a small butterfly and a bunny. It's beautiful dye and it does cut the bottom too, which is nice because some they don't. And I did a little bit of paper piecing and um, so I left the grass green and then there is some flowers here and then the bunny I did in white. I hope the lighting is good. <clears throat> and then this die here is four and three quarters by one and three quarters. So again, it's a nice size for cards. And then I have um, this die that comes, the half of the egg is on legs or a stand. And then you have the other half of the egg. You got eyes, a beak, and then these you can use as 
two different size eggs or you can make them into a chick with eyes and beak so which is what I did and so again you can paper piece the legs here but I just left it white and this is the little chick so you can just put her inside and then the top goes like that so cute I hope the lighting is not bad in here so that's that die and I mean it's a nice size uh, to put on pocket letters and let's move on to this one here okay so we're gonna start off with this egg die and it's very nice size egg um, it's about three and a quarter by two and a half and I did cut cut it twice um, I used the the pieces from this egg to paper piece this one and on this one I just put a plain cardstock different color cardstock in the back and I just uh, cut around it so you can do whatever it's easier for you um, I find this easy but sometimes it's very therapeutic to paper piece stuff so that's that die um, this die here it's another egg and it comes with a bow it's got a little bird here and some leaves it's a beautiful die um, three and a quarter by two and a quarter and this is how it cuts again you can paper piece this um, if you can make shakers out of it you can do whatever you want it's a beautiful die I have this little wreath it's got a bunny in it and this one is um, so it does have a little hole here where you can put a little string so it's a nice die and it is two and a half by two and a quarter and this is how it cuts this room is either too dark or too light so that's how it cuts I have this little bunny so cute and this bunny is three and a half by two inches and I did cut them in two colors so I paper pieced the two colors together and <laughs> I think the black one turned out so cute they're so cute oh my gosh I love bunnies I got this bunny die and there are two bunnies kissing and it's two and a quarter by three inches and again I pick I cut them in white and black and just left them plain you can you can cut them one in each different color and do whatever you want the white one's not even showing there you go so that's that die I have this cute bunny it's holding a flower and it's about two and a three quarters by two and three quarters and I did cut him in blue I keep saying him it could be her and I gave the little flower some bling I gave this little guy a googly eye 
And then I put a pom-pom for his tail. So he's so cute. So adorable. And then the last one on this um, magnet sheet I have, it's this egg. And you can make um, you can make just plain egg or you can uh, decorate the egg. So you have the hat, the eyes, cheeks, and um, pipe. Or you have the eyes, the lips, a bow, and eyelashes. And this is the two I made. So one is the guy. He's got a pipe. And I gave him googly eyes. And this is the... The female egg with her little fancy eyelashes and cheeks and a bow. So they're so cute. And these eggs are uh, about two inches by one and a half. So very cute. Okay, my last one okay so I have this Easter sign and it says Easter here and it's got bunny it's got um, flowers it's got eggs that you can paper piece uh, I didn't paper piece everything uh, just so that I can show you that you can so I just did the eggs here and one of the flowers I put pink but it's a beautiful die if you want to make cards or um, well, whatever you want to do with it. And this one is about three and a quarter by three and a quarter. So very nice size die. Um, I have this one here and it's got two bunnies and a big egg. Um, and it says Easter here. Again, I did not paper piece that. I just cut it here. And that's the bunnies and the eggs. And this die is two and a quarter, two and a half. Actually, two and three quarters by three and a quarter. So again, good size die. I got these four bunnies that came in a set. And they just cut one, two, three. Am I holding them that right? And four. Four bunnies and each bunny is it's about one and a half by one and a half and the tall one is about two inches by one and a quarter so again cute dies to use on pocket letters. I got this bunny die and he's holding a carrot. Again, I keep saying he. And this is how it cuts. And I did paper piece this guy. I gave him a pompon and the carrot and the ears and some eyes and nose. And this bunny is three inches by two inches so cute die and then I have this egg that it's cracked egg and it comes with this part which is the chick that's the chick's legs and um, that's the wings and these are the eyes and you can create different scenes with this and I will show you what I've done so I've done this little chick who's looking for food I think 
I got this little chick just walking around. I got this little chick whose head is stuck in the egg. And then this little chick whose egg broke and it's still, he's upside down trying to get out. So you can create a lot of things. And the biggest one that you can do is about two and a half by one and three quarters. Oh no, the egg is. So two and a half by two, two quarters. So again, a good size. And my last die for today is this egg die. And it says Happy Easter. And this one cuts out like this. So on its own, it's very pretty to put on like cards and stuff. Um, it is about three and a th three and three quarters by two and three quarters of an inch. And what I've done, I made two shaker cards. Um, this one, I used foam, which I didn't like too much. Uh, I still have to finish the inside, but that's one. And then I like this one. It's more flat and um, again, I have to put a sentiment here in the inside and finish up the card, but yeah, you can do uh, shaker cards. You can do whatever you want with this die. You can even layer it to give that, to give it dimension. So, um, yeah, so that was it for today's video. If you like this video, please give it thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day, you guys.